My name is Alice. In Italian, it's actually Alice Tomei. I'm an, an engineer. Uh, my formation was done in, uh, in Italy. Uh, I studied in uh, material engineering at the Polytechnic of Milan. And then I did a PhD in bioengineering and biotechnology, focused on um, developing novel means of encapsulation based on fluid dynamics and nanotechnology. What we do here is uh, we develop a team, uh, little by little, we, we hired more and more people and that are all very motivated and uh, that believe in the fact that we, we can find a cure for diabetes. Uh, we hire people with different backgrounds, um, uh, from biology to biomedical engineering, um, and we develop this team with the aim of uh, applying engineering tools to uh, protect eyelid graft and prevent rejection. You need to protect uh, eyelid grafts because a patient that has type 1 diabetes uh, doesn't have beta cells anymore because they've been destroyed by autoimmune attacks. Uh, so you cannot take the cells for the, from the patients to replace them. And when you do eyelid transplantation, obviously you need to take eyelids that are functioning, that have beta cells, that can secrete insulin in response to glucose challenge. So when you eat and you, have, you get glucose, then you need to be able to process it and you need insulin. So you cannot take the cells from the patients. I mean, differentiated cells, insulin uh, secreting cells from the patient because they've been destroyed. So you need to take them from another, another person. And when you, so you take them from normally are cadaveric donors you take the pancreas, you isolate the islets with the recording chamber, and then you have to transplant these islets. But now these islets, they come from a patient, from a different person. So we are all different, and uh, it's called doing an allograft. Your body, when you, take cell, when, you, when, you, when you get cells from another person, recognizes the cells as foreigners. And so it attacks and kills them if you don't protect them somehow. So the idea is, in the future to be able to transplant islets without any systemic immunosuppression. Rather, that will be just putting a, a barrier around, um, around the islets that is called immunoisolation and is translated in therapy as encapsulation, or uh, putting something locally together with the islets that is able to teach the immune system to accept the islet graft and not to reject. And that's why we're working very hard. The way we work in our team is representative of the way we work also at the DRI in a bigger scale. So we believe that having um, experts from different fields that have been trained and are uh, the best in their, in their own expertise, working together in the same room or in the same building, uh, it helps improving the quality of what you do.